Hi there! If you've ever wondered how you can get your character running on screen, have a cat animator like this, a control like this on for your game, you've come to the right place because that's exactly what we're gonna do. While you have that going on, while you have your Unity project loading up, I want you to go to the Unity Asset Store and nab Fenrex Studio, the Fenrex, Fenrex, Fenrex Studios' joystick pack. Now, I'll link this in the description. I purchased this like three years ago, but we don't worry about it. It's a great asset. Use it. Because it, well, you'll, you'll see why, why I'm talking, why I say it's a great asset. So, when you have, when they go ahead and add this to your, add this to your project, I'm just going to sit here and say open unit editor and it'll be like, one of my projects should open up, one of my current projects. So yeah, um, right now it is a movement system. So once you have this, just go ahead and import that into your project. Uh, you'll get this little pop-up over here. Just say yes to that because, well, there's no need to reinvent the wheel. A good joystick controller is a good joystick controller. <laughs> if you haven't already, go ahead and convert your project into an Android or iOS project. So Android and we're gonna hit switch platform. Now give it a second for it to actually do its thing and yeah. Okay, so um, what you're gonna to want to do next is import your assets. Um, for that obviously I've gone ahead and imported my models and I've gone ahead and imported my own little my own little render I mean my own little thing so we don't worry about what I have. Uh, you do you though. Anyway, I'm going to go to link some assets, but for now I'm just going to plop this guy into, into my scene and let me, you don't want to do that, turn off 2D. This can take a look at my guy, right? Here we are, look at my beautiful boy, you know, he exists. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly create a scene for him, we're going to call, we're going to go ahead and unpack this guy, call him, see that's model that I'm going to call him. Player. No, my boy. In scripts, we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna create a new script. Call actually no. Yeah, create a new script. Call it uh, player. A top down mobile movement. For the sake of this tutorial, we are going to be using. A dynamic joystick. Now, how do you get the dynamic dy dynamic joystick? Lovely question. We're gonna hop into the joystick pack which we imported. Go into prefab. Uh, put down a can. Put down a canvas. Um, so that's what. Uh, right click UI and then canvas. I've named my canvas UI. Don't worry about it. Just drag and drop your dynamic joystick. We are gonna go ahead and start by referring to a few things. Right now. We want to move our character, so obviously we need to refer to our joystick. We're gonna come here and we're gonna say, uh, personally, some, this is something I prefer. I would say serialize field and then private uh, dynamic joystick, and then call it joystick. The next thing is, you can say serialize field, private um, rigid body actually. Rigid body and see RB standard and uh, let's see player rigid body. You can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it player rigid body so that we have a little bit more context, right? Now, apart from that, we need to know how fast a cat is gonna move. But this is where we're gonna use a public variable, right? Uh, we're gonna call it public float. Sorry, public float with a simple left. Public float moves speed. And finally, uh, find what we find available that I would like you to do is uh, float rotation speed. T A T A O N speed. Sorry. So move speed, rotation speed, the two variables which we are going to be using. So I'm going to make one for you. Say start. No, so it's um, private void start with capital S. And inside that you will say RB is equal to uh, get component rigid body and yeah sorry this is uh, play rigid body is equal to get component rigid body 
so let's create another create, create another method call it um, update and we're gonna get our horizontal let me get our horizontal and vertical inputs right so we're gonna say um, horizontal input is equal to this is where the joystick is created. We say joystick dot hori, horizontal and ta -da. we have a horizontal movement. Um, what am I forgetting? Yes, float. Because our, our horizontal input is a float that goes from uh, zero, 0 to 1 value, right? So, yeah, it's a value of 0 to 1. Now I want a vertical input as well. I'm just gonna copy. This is gonna copy this line over here. So just put your cursor at the end of the line. Hit head, hit Control D, and you have that. So uh, it can be called vertical movement. A joystick dot vertical. Uh, feel free to pause the video, slow it down if you know uh, it's annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in just a little bit of the code so that you at home can also see what I'm doing. Um, we're not that much, but you know, we're good. We have a good amount. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add a few things to our character. We're gonna actually hop, so basically we're just gonna hop out of this and hop back into Unity and do a few things with our character. <laughs> so, um, where is my boy? My boy. So first thing is he needs a rigid body. Rigid body and I'm gonna not use gravity. Actually, let me use... Mm, I don't want to use gravity. You, you, again, you can mess around with Unity and find out what you want, but um, you have that. I'm gonna go ahead and drop, drop a plane for him. And I'll center that, go up here to transform and reset. The He's gonna double click plane, level my boy. And my boy is in the scene. See? Perfect. Now we want him to move around. Now my boy, again, uh, he doesn't have his he doesn't have the script attached. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the thing and drop that in here. And so we have that now we need a reference to our joystick. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop, drag and drop that in there. Ta -da. Okay. Now, our boy here needs to be animated. So we're going to go up here and you're going to grab the animations. Again, I'm not going to dictate how you do it. But uh, this is sad. this is how my thing is set up. So I'm going to so I'm going to find my models called animations. Uh, create. I'm just going to put in go here, go create. Uh, and uh, right at the bottom here we have animator controller we call it my boy controller my boy open my boy I'm gonna find your idle animation I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this into the scene or you can use the middle mouse middle mouse bar to actually do that uh, let's add some faces so, I can make it. so we have the idle animation and let's do Let's keep it simple. Let's do a run animation. Drag and drop that in. Ta uh, just as a small reminder, make sure your animation make for your model. Make sure animations are set to rig. Now your animation type should be set to rig. I mean, no, sorry. Your under rig, your animation type should be set to humanoid. Um, got the basic stuff here. But yeah, go ahead and align that. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a parameter. Call it um. What are we gonna call it? Let's call it speed. Let's call it speed. I'm gonna click to the float and call it speed. I'm gonna create a, I'm gonna create a transition from idle to run and run to idle. Grab the arrow from idle to run, and then hop in here to the animation panel over here and give it a condition. I'm gonna say if speed is greater than uh, 0 0.1, so as long as as long as it's moving, we transition to that. And from here to here, I run to idle, we'll say is less than 0 0.1. So as long as there's no input being given, you will go back to idle. Another thing you might want to do is grab both of these. Oh, sorry. Um, these are animations, I believe it was idle 1. Yeah, wait, no. Um, let's say, I believe there's exit time, so you want to Yes, so you grab this over here. Like you select here, you select the little transition. Grab has exit time and turn that off. And then over here and has, has exit time is turned off. 
now we have our vertical like uh, a horizontal and vertical input so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give it a vector in the sense we're gonna tell the character which way to move so we're gonna say um vector 3 we call it move direction is equal to a new vector 3 within brackets 3 for the thing over there and here i believe you know how an, how an input how a vector 3 works it is three float values that define the magnitude and direction of the horizontal input under the x value and remember since this is a float and very and vector 3 takes floats you can either plot this in given you put it into the z axis so yeah there we go horizontal and vertical inputs are sorted next thing is gonna get this guy to move now so we're gonna go ahead and select a move position we're gonna create a position for doing we're gonna say rb sorry uh play a rigid body i keep saying rb for a moment my project so it's like fatty so you can say rb dot move position is equal to transform dot position plus uh move direction right so now we have the direction we're moving in and we have to scratch that we're gonna say actually plot back up here say vector three movement is equal to move direction times uh, move sorry moves move speed times time dot delta time so yeah that's basically all we're gonna grab we're gonna grab movement control c and we can see that plus movement and duh, we're done with that and speed let's make it one so yeah there we go he's moving you can change him into whatever you can make it 10 maybe i'm in here so yeah there we go he's moving but he's not rotating the way i want him to rotate so let's fix that because uh, we need to we need rotation so how do we do a, how do we handle rotation if move direction uh, not equal to so exclamation mark is equal to vector 3 dot uh, 0 so as long as it's not a null vector and as long as our movement is, is not an empty vector we can go ahead and add our code in it so let's add a mixture line there and there we go we're gonna see uh, quaternion i really hate quaternion if we don't talk about that we can see tag no see player rotation is equal to quaternion dot uh, look direction and we'll see move direction and voila x uh, i mean how do you call it next we're gonna see transform the rotation sorry rotation is equal to quaternion dot esler uh, transform dot position yeah sorry uh play rotation and i believe the next thing yes yeah, so you need the rotation Speed because that's the rate of which rotation speed times time dot delta time. So it's transformed to rotation, not position. So yeah, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so you can see what I've typed out here. Oh my boy, I'm gonna make this rot movement speed 10, let's be rotation speed 10. Not quite sure how the parameters are supposed to work, but you know what? It's fine. Let's change it, or you know, to like landscape. Maybe. There we go. So we are, so we, so we aren't having like subway surfers on screen, right? So there we go. Our boy is rotating like wee wee. 
a previous animator comes with me, hop into animations, grab an animator, grab my boy, drag the animator onto my boy, and then we have that. Now, uh, again, remember that we cre we created um, this over here, the the, the, para the parameter, which is a float. So, what we're going to do is actually work with that. Now, my boy doesn't have reference to that, so we're going to go ahead and create a um, let's see. I do this. I just, just, okay. Because I'm a lazy programmer, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit go to line number eight, which is like what rigid body player rigid body. Just duplicate that. I'm gonna call it animate. I'm gonna call this player anim. Back in Unity, you grab the animator and plop this into here. That's what I was gonna say. Sorry, animation controller goes on the animator and the animator gets dragged and dropped on here. So, we're gonna say we're gonna create a float down here, right? The update, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't worry about that. We don't show this monster. Say float is equal to uh, let's call it input magnitude. Input. Magnitude just so, so just so we can get a get a understanding of how much the input is, right? So we're gonna see um mm, what do they call this up here? Yeah. Really? If this the uh, move direction is move direction the Oh right, I see what I'm doing wrong. And it's not inside the update function. That's why I was like, why don't you get a reference to this? Let me see. Input and this is move direction dot magnitude. Yeah. Yeah. After you can see. I don't get a reference to the animator, so let's play anim control. Play anim control dot set float because now we're gonna we're gonna say set float we're gonna say where we're gonna refer to the specific variable we're gonna say speed and comma and magnitude and then push. look at him Whee! he's now auto running everywhere so yeah this is Oh, a simple animation, uh, animation controller.